Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Can kids at four years old let you know what their gender is? Before we get into this video, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If not, that's cool. We are working our way toward the PC soundboard. So if you want to donate to my cash app, man, much love to you. If you don't, that's fine. You're supporting me by just watching the channel. All right, let's get to the video. DJ! That they're transgender, believe them. A lot of people will say that it's in when a kid tells you that they're transgender, believe them. A lot of people will say that it's impossible for a four-year-old to know if they're trans or not, but actually that's not true. They can know, and here's why. From day one, gender is baked into everything we do. You either have a boy name or a girl name, boy toys or girl toys, boy clothes or girl clothes. So from an early age, kids understand the difference between boy and girl, and more importantly, which one they're expected to be. So it makes sense that if what they feel inside is different than what they're expected to be, that they might feel uncomfortable and they might want to talk about that discomfort. And we all know that kids are good at talking about how they feel. For example, mommy, I skinned my knee, mommy, someone called me a name on the playground, or even mommy, I don't like wearing boy clothes. These are all similar feelings of discomfort that we can talk about to our parents. That's not to say that all kids will realize they're transgender when they're little. A lot don't. I didn't until I was 27, but I can't tell you how many people I've met that knew they were trans at four or five years old. So if there's a kid in your life who's telling you they're trans, please believe them. They know what they're talking about and your support might save their life. Oh, I can't stand that ending, though. It might save their life. Why do y'all do that, man? Sorry, I had to write down um, a little bit what he was saying there. Or l what Lily Tino was saying. So, Mr. L uh, Lily. Lily, Lily. I don't know the, the individual's name. I'm just going to call them Lily. That's the name of their channel. Lily! So, first argument. Let's, let's break this down. Let's break this down. When you're a child, he said it. When you're a child at four years old, they say, you know what? You either choose boy clothes or girl clothes. Boy clothes or girl clothes. Let's, let's take a step back. Toys within themselves can be both. Like if you're playing with a fire truck, that is not a boy toy. That's not a girl toy. It's a fire truck, something everybody could see in their life. If you were playing with a police car, that is not a boy car or a girl car. That is a police car, right? If you're playing house, right? Now, I understand if it's like a Barbie doll house, but there are houses, that, if you've seen the commercials way back in the day, where they get guys had those houses, the little houses I had one myself. It could just be a house, right? If I was playing with Power Rangers, I could either be playing with the green one and the pink one. I don't consider that boy and girl right that is the issue that we keep falling into is that you y'all will say that the people who are for this movement of kids saying they're trans it will be like hey if they believe it is true in some of the comments y'all might have saw the one says if my four-year-old thought he was a wolf is he a wolf like that doesn't make any sense. And how would they even know the word trans? That would have to come up to them in conversation, right? That would have to be taught to them. Because I, I, if you've been four or five, I don't remember at any point when I was four or five thinking I might be a, I might be trans. That didn't come up in conversation. I just really thought about going to school, right? And just meeting all these new kids that I had no idea who they were. I remember being scared my first day of school. I was hugging my mom's leg. That's what, one of the few memories I remember when I was a child. All right. So another point that this individual makes talks about his, mommy, mommy, I scraped my knee. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, some kids said something crazy to me. But it's, at four years old, it's going to be like, mommy, he being mean. Something like that. Right. If you've ever been around four years old, that's why sometimes I can. I feel like these people haven't really been around kids. Have you been around a four year old? Have you worked at a preschool before? I, ha I can honestly say I have. Worked with kids for almost 20 years, right? I've been in a preschool and I've met plenty of three to four to five years olds, right? I promise you they are not thinking to themselves. 
uh, oh, I'm playing with a blue balloon, so therefore I must be a boy. That is not the things that are being taught to them. That would have somebody would have to go out of their way to teach a kid that to make them think boy or girl. Because I don't even I've listened to the conversation these kids have, and they are not talking about I'm a boy, you're a girl, right? You like pink, I like blue. These kids will wear whatever color their parents will put on them. These kids will I've seen kids come to school with the best looking outfit. Some kids come to school looking raggedy. It's just it is what it is. Whatever their parents decide to put on them is what they tend to just come to school in. A lot of kids just want to get to school, especially at four and five. They're just coming around to play. They just want to play with their toys. Maybe watch some videos. They are not thinking deep and thinking about, man, I think I'm a girl and I don't know if I can go on. At this ripe age of four, how will I make it to five if at this point I am not confirmed or affirmed? Somebody saying, mommy, I scrape my knee is not the same thing as somebody saying, mommy, I think I'm a boy. That is that is not stuff that's coming out of those kids mouth. They would have to be trained to think that way. They could say the only way they could even say, mommy, I scraped my knee, which is obviously a, what honestly be a more difficult sentence for four-year-olds to say they don't tend to say stuff like that they don't go mommy i scraped my knee they might say mommy my knee hurt more like that i don't know why people think four-year-olds are talking like <laughs> like they're fifth graders they're not talking to that degree you know they might so anyway 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 my point is saying we have got to let the kids grow up and i do not like that he said that Lily said at the end, it may save their life. I made a video not too long ago saying that at some point we've got to leave the kids out of it. Us adults can have conversations between ourselves. Okay. But stop bringing kids into our, the agenda. You want to argue with me? That's fine. I'm a grown man. You want to argue with another? You want to argue with another grown woman? You can do that. But to say that four-year-olds are going to be able to, it's like we don't believe anything else four-year-olds would say. In in most cases, if they said they're a dog, they said they're a rabbit, wolf. If they said they were a warlock, we wouldn't say, oh, okay, that's kind of wild. But the second they say they're a certain gender, we just believe it. I mean, that's never going to happen. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. Four-year-olds are not intellectually, emotionally, physically, or any of that ready to even have that conversation at four and the, and i don't like that the last sentence was a lot of the uh, let me hear the exact quote let's listen to it so if there's a kid in your life who's telling you they're but i can't tell you how many people i've met that knew they were trans at four or five years old i can't tell you how many people i've met at four and five that told me they were trans <laughs> they were not thinking that I said, this is why I just know a lot of people don't work with children, man. They haven't. They haven't, man. I've talked to enough parents and I've worked with enough children, thousands of children that I've worked with. I've, I've never, never really came across. In fact, I can honestly say for me, I've never came across a parent that said, oh, yeah, my kid told me that they were a boy or a girl. Are there some parents that are weirdos out there? Yes, because they want to put their stuff on their kids, of course. But. Kids coming out and saying they're boys or girls, I've never, never heard a kid come out and say I was trans at that young of an age. The oldest I've heard a kid really come out at that age is, I think, 13 or 14 saying something like that. And even they were confused. They went from boy to girl, boy to girl, boy to girl. And now they're back to being a girl, which is what they were born as. Right. These kids are confused. But at four years old and five years old, this is not what they're thinking. But you want that to be true. Let's be honest with myself. People want this to be true because too many times we have adults wanting to validate themselves or live vicariously through a child and saying, yeah, you see, you see, little Johnny wants to play with the blue truck, not the pink Barbie doll over there. So therefore, little Johnny's a boy. But you see little Mikey over there. He wants to play with the pink doll. So therefore, he must want to. No. And little little Mikey, little Susan's not gonna come out and say, Mommy, I hate wearing boy clothes. You know, there's such thing as the tomboys. The, they those exist. And there's such and I don't I haven't seen a whole lot of boys who come out and say, I want to wear a pink dress. But will boys try on a dress? Of course, because it's just a dress to them. They're not going deep and psychological with it. But you adults will end up making them think that way. And I think it's sickening. I think it's sickening. But you let me know what you think. Do you work with children? Do you have kids? 
Or your kids coming out to you and telling you that they're a, a wolf or rabbit, or are they telling you they're a boy or girl? And do you believe them? Or do you think that maybe it's just a tad bit too early to start having that conversation? And if they are having that conversation, ask yourself as a parent, as a teacher, or whatever, what makes them think that way? Where did they learn this from? And then we can actually start doing some talking. I'm gone.